A question that I got recently at a training on how to lead change that I think is so worthy of additional time and space is this. How do I help my team members navigate a change when I myself am struggling with it? If you are leading a team, you have to remember that you are also human. And if there are changes that are negative or uncertain, creating uncertainty, it's totally normal for you to feel uncertain alongside them. So one of the first times I experienced this tension between me struggling and my team struggling was when I was leading a team through some of the financial crisis fallout. We had gotten an email from our most senior level leader saying that there was going to be layoffs, we would find out in the next couple of weeks who would be laid off, who wouldn't. Now keep in mind, I received this email at exactly the same time as my team members, right? So they're all freaking out. Inside, I'm freaking out. I could, you know, be full on um, Kermit the Frog, ah! <laughs> and like run around screaming with them because that's what I felt like doing. And I'm not saying that you have to choke that down, but you have to recognize when that stress response might not be effective for you or for them. Here's what happened. I went and talked to my boss and I said, hey, are we gonna talk about this? And her response was, talk about what? Needless to say, that didn't evoke a lot of trust, even though she might have been freaking out herself. So here's what you can do instead. You can acknowledge what you know and you can acknowledge what you don't know and you can say that in a way that's really confident. Listen, we know there's a lot of uncertainties right now and I'll be honest, I mean, I'm a person too and I'm wondering, will I have a job? But here's what I know. I know that we don't get to control that, and what we do get to control is how we show up. So how are we gonna show up in this, right? By sharing with them what we know and what we don't know, we're acknowledging what they're experiencing. We're showing them that we're in it with them, but we're not just in it with them, we're gonna help them lead out of where we're at. Because as leaders, our job is to provide the calm during the chaos. But I wanna talk to you, the person. I wanna talk to not you, the leader, you, the person. It is so critical when you are in a position of authority and leading a team that you have allies that are not on your team, that you have people in your life, whether they are coworkers, whether they are people outside, whether it is family members or friends, that you can be beautifully messy and honest with them. As a business owner, I'm really close with my team, but the reality is there are just things that I'm struggling with and wrestling with sometimes that's not appropriate for me to talk with them until I'm ready to make that announcement. And so I have a group of other business owners that I can be messy with, or I can share my fears or concerns with, or my doubts, right, that I might not necessarily want to show my team. So make sure you have really good allies, and if you don't, find them, seek them out, and know that they do not need to be in your company, right? They don't even need to do your job, just somebody that you can be messy with. Because if we have a space for us to be able to process our experience and emotions, we will be better set up to be able to help our team members process and experience their emotions as well. But yeah, it does suck. Leadership is hard. If you have a question you'd like to see us explore, drop us a line on social media, tag me, use the hashtag chronicallycurious. Until then, happy learning. Now get back to work.